In a dense forest surrounded by towering pines and whispering winds lived a large burly bear named Bruno. Unlike the other bears, who shared food and helped one another during tough seasons, Bruno was known far and wide as the most selfish creature in the woods. Every spring, the forest burst with juicy berries, fresh honeycombs, and plump fish. When the season of abundance arrived, Bruno would wake from his long slumber and race through the woods, swatting bees aside to take all the honey, stripping bushes bare of berries, and scooping up fish with his powerful paws. He would pile everything in his den, leaving little for the other animals. One day, a small rabbit named Pip approached Bruno's cave. She was thin and shivering. Food had been scarce due to an unusually harsh winter, and many animals were struggling to eat. Please, Bruno, Pip pleaded. Could you spare some berries or a bit of honey? My family hasn't eaten in days. Bruno narrowed his eyes and growled. Why should I give you what's mine? I worked hard to collect this food. But Bruno, Pip argued gently, everyone in the forest works hard. If we don't help each other, some may not survive. Not my problem. Bruno grunted and turned away. Days passed. The skies darkened, and relentless rain battered the forest. Streams swelled, and Bruno's den began to flood. Panicking, he tried to haul his stockpile higher up the cave, but the water rose too fast. Soon, everything he had hoarded was washed away downstream, leaving him cold, wet, and without a scrap of food. Shivering and weak, Bruno stumbled through the forest, looking for help. But when he approached other animals, they turned their backs. The squirrels hid in their trees, the foxes slipped away, and the birds took flight at the sight of him. Only Pip remained nearby, nibbling on a berry bush with her family. In desperation, Bruno swallowed his pride and trudged over. I have nothing, he admitted, his voice trembling. Can you help me? Pip stared at him for a moment. Then she nodded and handed him a small portion of berries. We don't have much, but we'll share, surprised by her kindness. Bruno ate slowly, thinking. For the first time, he realized what it felt like to need help. That night, he resolved to change. As the seasons turned, Bruno worked side by side with the other animals, gathering food together and sharing what they had. He helped repair homes, carried heavy loads, and stood guard when danger approached. The animals began to trust him, and soon the forest flourished. No longer the selfish bear he once was, Bruno became known for his strength and generosity. And every spring, he made sure that no one was left without food, remembering the little rabbit who taught him that true strength comes from sharing, not hoarding.